1932 von Gerhard Richter, das wunderbare Buch von 1962. Jemand mehr als 70.000, 75.000, 80.000, 85.000. Auction objects going under the hammer are several works by German painter Gerhard Richter. There's nothing more exciting in the life of an auctioneer than the day of the auction itself. It always brings surprises. Who will bid on what? How high will they go? Kilian J. von Seldeneck has been one of the directors of Germany's largest auction house since 2012. His work begins long before the auction itself. It takes months to prepare an auction. One of the most important aspects is staying in touch with collectors, potential buyers and art sellers. The Lempertz Auction House has been in business since 1845. It's the oldest family-run auction firm in the world. Some paintings we've auctioned off two or three times already, say in 1910, 1975 and 2017. The trust that we've built up over generations is naturally something you can't buy with money. 90,000, Telefon. 95,000, 105,000. 105.000 sind geboten. Any more than 105.000? Zweimal? Dreimal. Danke. A buyer paid 105,000 euros for a book of illustrations by Gerhard Richter. It's one of the German artist's earliest works. Now 85 years old, Richter has been experimenting with various genres of painting since the 1960s. Even minor works by him fetch six-figure sums. Richter is the star of the art market. Among all living artists, his works command the highest prices. The online database Artnet says that all told, Gerhard Richter's works have earned more than 800 million euros at auction. In 2015, his abstract image sold for more than 40 million alone. Gerhard Richter is a fascinating artist. It's no accident that his work sets new price records and is unbelievably popular among collectors. Und nun die große Teidelandschaft von Gerhard Richter, Lot 633. Da muss ich beginnen mit 650.000. 650.000. Collectors can also bid for works at Lempert's auctions online. The auctions are live streamed and bidding is in real time. The art market is going digital. Roughly 12% of its business in 2016 was on the internet. That's more than 3 billion euros, an increase of 15% from the previous year. Collectors like Christian Schwamm from Berlin appreciate the advantages of digitalization. The 45-year-old himself founded an art collector's platform called Independent Collectors to make private collections more accessible. Da sammeln auch viel mit Collecting has a lot to do with discovery. So for collectors, it's fantastic that it's now so easy to get up-to-date information. At the same time, it's tough to keep track of all the influences, impressions and information. The challenge today is to find your way and keep a balance. Lempertz is also trying to unite art collectors from all over the world in an online community. One task is to convince collectors to bid on works they may never have seen in real life. Lempertz uses videos in which experts introduce works of art. I think there are situations in which serious collectors can buy artworks they've never seen before. But mostly, you should stick to only art by artists whose work as a whole you know well. Despite Richter's popularity, no online collectors bid today on his Tede landscape. The painting goes to a bidder who is present in the auction hall. Sold for 750,000. Gratulieren. Thank you.